Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. I have an exciting video planned for you guys today. Today we're going to be talking all about Stellar Lumens. We're going to be doing a deep dive into XLM. This project is ranked 26 on the coin market cap and this project also has real world utility that's happening now. We're going to be discussing the real utility that's happening today in 2023. We're also going to be showing you some massive, huge, shockingly big connections that are a part of this project. I personally talk about this project because I think the world's elite have chosen this project. We're also going to go into the symbolism, some conspiracy topics regarding Stellar and XLM towards the end of this video, so stick around. The first thing I want to talk about is the fact that there's 400,000 MoneyGram locations in the United States, and they're partnered with Stellar. I'm going to show you a clip from Danielle talking about this. But with your digital wallet, and you could get a digital wallet, lobster wallet, it's free. You could get your own private keys and you could get hooked up. They also just enabled uh, European communities with MoneyGram access. So you could have USDC cash in and cash out available in Germany, Hung Hungary, Ireland, and Poland. And you could experience seamless cash to crypto transactions at your nearest participating MoneyGram location. XLM is also available in, you know, the most popular exchange in America. It's available on Coinbase, so it's very easy to get new people on board. And then you could also exit via MoneyGram. And for me, there's Walgreens and CVSs on every corner where I'm at. And every single Walgreens has a MoneyGram. You're able to do digital wallet cash in and cash out for $0 fees. So now I'm going to show you a video from Danielle real quick discussing why she's excited about this. Yeah, it's so exciting. I've been working on this with um, MoneyGram for a really long time. MoneyGram is offering a service that is really going to be that bridge between crypto and fiat and fiat or crypto and cash, cash to crypto. And it's live today. And it's so exciting that they were actually able to bring this to the, all those people out there that have never had this kind of access. So we're launching today in the United States, Canada, Philippines, and Kenya. And the on-ramp is a cash to crypto on-ramp in, in these four geographies, but also the crypto to cash off-ramp. So being able to do this is gonna be, it's just phenomenal. And I just feel like it's such a huge opportunity to be able to leverage the kind of a utility that we see in blockchain and to bring that to everyone so that we can actually allow these local developers to be able to create these awesome tools for folks using stable coins and other assets. That's super exciting. Congratulations. Um, talk us through briefly how that is actually going to work. Yeah, it's awesome, you guys. So there are lots of players involved in this. So we have wallet partners. Today we're launching with Lobster and with Vibrant. Uh, there could there will be more that come to the table with that. We also have Circle, who has USDC, and that's a, that's what we leverage for this service. And then we have MoneyGram, who's got 400,000 locations globally. So the fact that we have all these players coming together is such an awesome opportunity. But I did it last night. I just walked down the street on Congress. Uh, you can walk to a MoneyGram location there. I got my five bucks out. And the way you do that is uh, you take a wallet. I happen to use Vibrant, although I also did cash in with Lobster, which is so both wallets. Um, and you, it took me two minutes to fill out the transaction in my Vibrant wallet, um, put in my information because you need to be able to, you know your customer, get KYC'd when you get to the, the MoneyGram location. So it took me two minutes to do that. I wanted to just cash out for my five bucks that I wanted to get there. I walked in, I have my reference ID and my reference number. I walked over to the kiosk, typed in my reference number, confirm a bunch of information that you've already put in, and then you go to the counter, give them your reference number, give them your ID, and I got my five bucks. Now, the other thing I got was a super long receipt. Um, so what does this tell us? It tells us that this is really a bridge between traditional finance and traditional infrastructure and crypto and blockchain. This is just the beginning. It's gonna get better. There's gonna be a lot more refinement, but you can do this in those four geographies today. So that's huge. There's real utility. And if you think about it, this is the first, one of the most important utilities, the ability for people to enter and exit crypto. And it seems like that is what Stellar is looking to master. They already have USDC stablecoin on it. 
they have much, much more, and it's sitting at nine cents. It's definitely a hidden gem. You hear people talk about XRP. You hear people talk about even XCC now all the time. Not that many people talk about XLM. It's ranked 26. And also, when you think about XRP, there is a hundred billion supply. With XLM, there's 50 billion. So there's half XLM out there as XRP. And one thing interesting about Stellar XLM as well is they are developing, it seems, and I'm a huge XRP guy. You guys see my videos. I have lots of videos talking about XRP, the whole XRPL ecosystem. But I have to be real, I have to be honest. And Stellar XLM seems to be a few steps ahead of the development on the actual network. You guys know me, I've been talking about XLS30 coming to the XRP ledger which is going to bring automated market making and liquidity pools to the XRP ledger. It's important to note that Stellar already has automated market making live on Stellar today. They have 11 they have 12 million in liquidity in the automated market makers today. Uh, there's 3.6 million in liquidity in just the XLM USDC pool. This is native USDC on Stellar Network paired with XLM, and you could earn yearly rewards and fees by entering these pools. The rewards and incentives are not that great, I will say, but there's 12 million in liquidity on Stellar Network and the automated market makers already. XRP Ledger has not even released their automated market making functionality on the XRP Ledger. Uh, they also are close to unlocking um, smart contracts. It's called Sorobin. Smart contracts is what helps developers bring a lot of innovation and build lots of really cool decentralized applications. And also for Stellar, we're actually building smart contracts onto the network um, later this year. And we're also there's also automated market makers that are already available there. Those really are going to help to drive liquidity into the market for these payment use cases. And so we've always been focused on anchors. We've always been focused on on and off ramps. Again, not sexy, but it's sort of been our thing. We have a lot of FOMO sometimes of all the awesome things <laughs> other folks are doing out there. But for us to be able to sort of deliver on not just like everybody talks about this as the promise, but the value is really yeah. cool. Innovation is a core focus for the Stellar Development Foundation, and that's going to continue in 2022 as we challenge ourselves to adapt to new possibilities and see the opportunity they bring to extend Stellar. And the most immediate way we can think of to do that this year is with smart contracts. You heard me right. I said we are looking to bring smart contracts to Stellar in 2022. There's a lot of work to be done to get there, but at SDF, we're committed to researching and shepherding the development of the code and creating community engagement around an implementation. And the goal is to have Stellar remain one of the most accessible networks for developers so they can deliver high quality and safe applications to their users, while also allowing it to adapt and respond to the competitive blockchain landscape. Smart contracts would allow the ecosystem to develop a new suite of products and services on Stellar. They'd not only be a boon to current developers, they'd also attract new developers to Stellar. They will also make it easier for end users to take advantage of Stellar's network of fiat on ramps to cash into the new digital economy, thereby improving equitable access to financial infrastructure. Since the Stellar network was built as the future of payments, it's important that smart contracts on Stellar are secure for users and can scale without exorbitant network fees. If we do this right, it could set smart contracts on Stellar apart from all the rest. We're optimistic that we can get it done this year, but ultimately, as an open source network with an engaged ecosystem of developers, this isn't solely our decision, right? It's something that we will build with ecosystem support. So we look forward to working with you all to build smart contracts on STEM. So we just watched some videos about the innovation happening on Stellar technology. Smart contracts are coming. Automated market makers live now. They all help. The end goal for Stellar is vision. But now let's talk about the partners because the partners, this is where it gets really interesting. When you got the New York Times front page talking about blockchain assisting in humanitarian aid. And which blockchain were they talking about? They're talking about Stellar aid. Stellar has an entire organization for humanitarian aid, and it launched in Ukraine. 
And this is a United Nations project. So you're talking about at the world level, some of the biggest organizations are already using Stellar's technology. And I've already done a video on this in the past, so I'm not going to talk about this too much. This, you have to talk about New York Times, United Nations, uh, pushing Stellar Lumens, using it today. MoneyGram, I just showed you that clip. And now recently you have Franklin Templeton. They announced the Franklin on-chain U.S. government money fund, and it surpassed $270 million in assets under management. And let's read some of the things that are said in this. The funds transfer... Uh, they talk about utilizing Stellar blockchain, and this is what they say. We believe that blockchain technology has the potential to reshape the investment management industry by providing greater transparency and lower operational costs for traditional financial products. Blockchains like Stellar's are important to the investment process of the future, and assets built on blockchain rails like Franklin on-chain U.S. government money fund will eventually be interoperable with the rest of the digital asset ecosystem. This is the head of digital assets at Franklin Templeton. They also say Stellar is built and optimized for asset tokenization. We know tokenization is going to be huge, huge in the future. And Stellar is evolving traditional financial pro products and processes, making markets more accessible and empowering more people. So let's quickly read about Franklin Templeton. So some key points, they have approximately $1.4 trillion in assets under management as of March 31st, 2023. So this is a massive company out of California. $1.4 trillion in assets and they are using the Stellar blockchain. And people are trying to tell you that blockchain is not the future. So this is huge. So we got a $1.4 trillion financial giant. I'm going to show you guys in this next video, a representative from Franklin Templeton basically explained that they chose Stellar organically. Stellar did not approach them and shill their technology to them. They basically found Stellar themselves, did their research, and they found that Stellar was the right home for them. I'm going to show you that clip. And one of the key points... So if you also watch one of my previous videos from last week about the XRP ledger, they have a new amendment called XLS39. XLS39 is the clawback feature for the digital tokenized issued assets. And that's going to be big for the XRP ledger. However, Protocol 17 on Stellar Network has had this live since 2021. It's so like I was saying, Stellar is a little bit ahead as far as the technology and they have, since Protocol 17, asset clawback. And in the video, you're going to say the asset clawback is one of the key reasons why uh, Franklin chose Stellar as their home for tokenized assets. So enjoy this next clip, and uh, I'll, be, I'll be back on the other side. Well, it's so funny because I remember, I think it was in November of 2019, there was a filing that you guys have made that was picked up by, and it was the first mention of the using the Stellar blockchain. And I was like, this is exactly the way that you want open technology to work. You guys looked at this, made your decisions about what you were going to do. No one had to force you. Like no one went out and said, hey, we're going to pay you lots of money to do this. You guys figured it out. We were thrilled to see that because that's exactly what, what we want to see happen all over the world and what we do see happen not even like not at the scale necessarily, but small individual developers in other parts of the world can grab the technology and For do sure. it. But once we did, we were like, hey, we should be talking to them. And so we started the conversations and it's just been so nice to watch the journey yeah. and to watch that, you know, you guys like did very methodically approach this. Yeah. And so what's the, what are the benefits that you see for? Well, I mean, of course, you know, at the time we were, uh, you know, trying to figure out which, uh, which platform to use and, um, you know, I think we ended up with Stellar because of really the capabilities that you guys have that were so important for the regulatory environment, right? I mean, so this this concept of being able to, um, you know, claw back a transaction, right? That that's important. You're, we're required to do that. If there's some something that happens, you got to be able to fix some of those things, um, and you know, have this control environment in which we're responsible for. And uh, you know, the Stellar chain allowed us to do some of those things, and then. Also, you guys just, Stellar's amazing with how cheap your gas fees are. I mean, yeah, there's nobody else that comes near that. And, 
um, you know, that's important to us and important to our clients. So um, it's really been a, I think, a terrific journey together. So in this video, I've already shared with you that MoneyGram is using Stellar Blockchain. The United Nations is using Stellar Blockchain. I've also shared with you a trillion dollar asset management firm is using and trusting Stellar Blockchain. I've showed you a lot of clips from the CEO, uh, Danielle. She is from Mozilla Firefox. Now there's a guy hidden behind the scenes, the actual creator, and he also was part of the founding team of Ripple and XRP. Is Jed McCaleb. He's been in the crypto scene since the early Bitcoin days. People know about Mt. Gox. They know Jed McCaleb. This guy now is working on creating a private space station. I have my own personal thoughts about space, and I think it's pretty uh, ridiculous. However, the fact that this guy could just come out here and say he's building a private space station tells me that he has some big time connections. And there's been conspiracy theorists that said Jed McHale's family is connected to the Lucius, Lucius Trust, which is United Nations, which makes sense when you connect all the dots. But I haven't found too much good evidence on that. But Jed McHale, the founder of Stellar, is over here building space stations now. So um, Stellar Lumens just, you know, just seems really, really big when you start looking into it. And now I'm going to show you guys some of more down this uh, rabbit hole that we're going down. I want you to take a deep look at the Stellar Lumen logo. So what do you see here as you look at this? I see the Saturn logo. And what you're going to learn is the elites that control the world love Saturn logo. You can see... The Saturn occult logo is on basically all the big corporations. You could see it everywhere. See it everywhere. There's actually something called the, the cult of Saturn. So the symbol symbolism of the logo is very important if you have eyes to see, in my personal opinion. You could also see more connections. You know, Stellar Lumen launched in 2014, the same year that Interstellar launched. So Interstellar, the movie, Hollywood also is in control. Of basically, the same Saturn uh, control grid. And we have Stellar Lumens launching in 2014. The movie Interstellar launching in 2014. And here's another fun one. So the movie coming out in 2023 called Elemental. And you have a lumen and you have a ripple. You have a lumen and a ripple. And, uh, you know, XRP, XLM, I still think they're going to work together somehow. And they have different use cases and they're actually more friends than we are led to believe. But uh, that, those are some, you know, deeper connections. And now I'm going to leave you with uh, Danielle. So Danielle is the CEO and she's been leading for four years. And I want you guys to really make sure you see this point that she says here, most of the attention, at least for the last four years, has been on speculation and trading and mostly on individuals who are happy to hype their token on their social media stage rather than a product that might change the world. We're finally seeing this happen where products are driving this groundbreaking technology this important evolution brings me back to leadership. Just like products, leaders need time to develop, grow, and born. This last year has been unforgettable as we watched some individuals fall from grace and take a lot down with them and yet force our industry to mature. This leadership we are seeing now through our product development, policy engagement, regulatory commitment, and the focus on user needs is making this industry better. There is a stronger attention towards using this technology to drive real user value and more focus on getting product innovation into social conversations. In, in any industry, lead leadership, true leadership, pushes progress, maturity, and innovation. We're seeing it now in blockchain. It's accelerating our path forward. A lot has changed in the last four years, and I'm excited to participate in creating what's next. And it looks like their position to do that and this was just posted yesterday 
So we're moving from the speculative speculation phase and into a more utility, real world, game changing world. And uh, I'm very excited for the future of digital assets. Uh, Stellar XLM. Keep your eyes on Stellar XLM. Remember, it's available on Coinbase. You get a lobster wallet. Uh, be careful on Lobster Wallet. There's lots of scam tokens on Lobster Wallet as any decentralized permissionless um, network. So everybody, have an awesome day. I hope you enjoy this Stellar XLM deep dive. If you want more deep dives, let me know what project you want me to deep dive next. Everybody have an awesome day. and Peace. Most people in this room have probably never been on the receiving end of humanitarian aid. But I'm willing to bet that you've needed to be paid by an organization conveniently and reliably, maybe even across borders. It's hard. That same problem exists within the humanitarian world and is what we at SDF sought to address when building Stellar Aid Assist. This is not a small niche problem. There are over 100 million forcibly displaced people today. That's one person displaced every two seconds. UN agencies and NGOs send billions of dollars in cash assistance to people in need each year. Each payment can mean the difference between someone being able to provide for their family's basic needs or not. It's hard to accurately and efficiently disperse funds in these environments at this volume. Many people don't have bank accounts, either due to a lack of infrastructure or a lack of trust. Physical cash can be dangerous and subject to skimming along the way. People don't want to leave the safety of their homes to receive aid if possible. Even when local currency bank transfers are an option, that money is still subject to devaluation and can be hard to access if a person has to leave their country. Organizations often end up sending money without the ability to know exactly when the funds will arrive or guarantee that they've reached the right person. The inefficiencies of the legacy financial system disproportionately affect the marginalized and the people working to help them. Stellar Aid Assist allows organizations to deliver funds to their recipients quickly and at a low cost. Simply put, blockchain's value here is in processing bulk payments. Fast, cheap, accessible, portable, and transparent bulk payments that come in a stable form and can be cashed out globally. This first-of-its-kind blockchain solution allows organizations to distribute instant and transparent aid at scale. It allows them to send a digital asset like Circles USDC into a receiver's digital wallet at that point, the receiver can keep their money safe on their phone and access it conveniently in cash through off-ramps like the MoneyGram network that operates in over 180 countries. Here's how Stellar Aid Assist works. An organizational user logs into a dashboard and they upload a list of recipients by phone number, indicating the asset and the amount that each person should receive. The receiver gets a text message inviting them to receive their funds through downloading a digital wallet like Vibrant. At that point, when the receiver verifies their account, the funds are automatically sent from the sender to the receiver. And the next time the organization pays that person, the receiver doesn't have to do anything. They just get paid. This is a huge improvement on payment methods for both parties. We're seeing an average of 2.5 minutes from app download to a person receiving funds for the first time. Instead of paying processing fees, the organization can leverage the efficiencies of the Stellar network, which processes about 10,000 transactions for one US cent. They see in real time what's happening with thousands of payments and know with 100% certainty that the funds were received. The best part is, this isn't hypothetical, this is real. Starting in December, it's been used by the UNHCR as well as the International Rescue Committee to send cash assistance to displaced people in Ukraine. As the program scales there, the UNHCR and other organizations are deploying it in additional countries as well. The proof of real world utility is in entities like the UNHCR using this to address high visibility, high urgency problems like sending money to the most vulnerable in Ukraine. They don't have time or tolerance to play around with tech for tech's sake. They need real, working, tangible tools to help achieve the life-saving work they do under immense pressure every day. The beauty of the Stellar Network is that once you're plugged in, it can work almost anywhere. In places like Argentina, where people need to protect the value of their money against daily devaluation. In places like Rwanda, where I've lived, where families are splintered by a history of genocide and regional conflict and need to support each other across borders. In places like Poland, where a large population is still on the move and needs to bring their money with them wherever they go. Lastly, this isn't just for use in emergency situations. 
Stellar Aid Assist is built on a product called the Stellar Disbursement Platform. Taken out of the humanitarian context, you can think of it as a bulk payments tool for organizations. It's just as valuable when an org needs to pay gig workers across the world, or when a government sends money for social programs or pandemic relief. As our world gets smaller, the geographic borders that separate us feel less and less important. It's time our financial system reflects that shift in a way that benefits both the senders and receivers of funds. For so many organizations performing amazing work every day, having to find ways to pay people conveniently and affordably can deter them from their goals. With Stellar Aid Assist, they're able to concentrate on their mission while enabling equitable access for the receivers of funds to the global financial system. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tori. Uh, that was Tori Samples from the Stellar Development Foundation.